similar to the banking model. You essentially are able to make bank branches anywhere in villages at a much lower cost, 120 the cost of a regular bank branch. You accumulate people's deposits and you make float income and transaction money from money transfers. All right, let's give him a round of applause. Second contestant, please come on up. You ready? Sure. Ready, set. Did you know that up to 50% of the fruit produced in developing countries rots? That's 1,600 calories per person per day, or up to a trillion calories a day. And with the growing food crisis, that's food we simply can't afford to waste. Supply Change is a fair trade, business-to-business -business trading company that processes fruits before they rot, turning them into valuable ingredients. Companies like Stonyfield and Ben & Jerry's are looking for these ingredients to fulfill their social and environmental missions, and they currently can't find them. Supply Chain works directly with small-scale farming cooperatives in two ways. One, we provide access to high-value, high-margin markets. And two, we provide solar technology so that they can process fruits near origin. We're targeting the $41 billion U.S. processed fruit market, and we're piloting in Paraguay in January. We are supply chain because we need to see a difference in our supply chains. So how is this different from the technology that's out there today? Uh, currently, businesses in the U.S. can't find fully traceable products from farms. Their ingredient suppliers aren't giving them to them. So they have to go directly to the farms and work backwards through their ingredient suppliers. So we caught that out. We use mobile technologies to get real-time supply and um, supply data to companies, and everything's fully traceable. All right. Thank you, Shana. Next contestant. All right, Geraldine, you ready? I'm ready. Ready, set, finish. The number one question plaguing men for centuries, where are all the ladies? Instant Nightlife is a mobile application that provides real-time information from your favorite nightlife spots so you can know exactly what the scene is like before you leave the house. And it's not just for the guys. Everyone can save precious time and cover charge by knowing how long the line is, what it's like inside, and <laughs> and a lot of other things. <laughs> we now have a year's worth of data from Boston's top clubs, and we've worked with MIT mathematicians that specialize in stock market models to develop a proprietary algorithm that accurately and dynamically predicts your nightlife scene. Club owners and promoters are already using our software to drive traffic in a $16 billion industry. Don't get stuck in an hour-long line, and guys, avoid the dude fest. Use instant night nightlife. Uh, question, how do you plan on getting women to use this device when they, they frankly, have no trouble finding uh, dudes who are there, <laughs> and, whereas men, on the other hand, are, are the ones who are usually desperate for radar, as you're pointing out, for females. How do you convince them that it's worthwhile? Sure. I mean, as a female myself, I've often struggled, especially in the Boston winters, waiting in line for hours and hours. And so it's not, it's not common that a lot of females get led into clubs very easily, especially when you're not in Vegas. So I think it... <laughs> All right. And our final round one contestant. Are you ready? Ready. Ready, set, pitch! Hi, my name is Noah Wilson-Rich. I'm finishing up my PhD in the next month at Tufts University in the biology department, and I'm here to talk to you about something totally different. Vaccines for honeybees. Now, in 2006, I started working with honeybees, and in 2007, we received reports in the news saying that honeybees were dying from this mysterious phenomenon called colony collapse disorder, whereby honeybees are actually missing, not just finding dead bodies. 
Honeybees are of, of extreme economic and ecological importance for the role as pollinators of over 130 crops. It's a $16 billion industry for their role as pollinators. And I have studied how their immune system works in my PhD work and how to upregulate it. In 2009, I entered into a contest through Dow Chemicals for an idea that would change the world. Uh, I won the grand prize of $10,000. I used that to file a patent on vaccines for honeybees. And three weeks ago, the culprit was found to be a fungus causing the honeybees to die. And I am looking for money to develop the antifungal vaccine. <laughs> My customers, the global beekeeping market, as well as all pollinators and any other beneficial invertebrates. So this could be applied to the shrimp farming industry or the silkworm industry as well for fashion. It's applicable to any beneficial invertebrate. Their immune system has a similar process to the toll pathway. So insects are the vectors for many of our worst diseases. Is this somehow applicable there? They can be as well. So I know how to upregulate the immune system, but the same method of delivering the vaccine can be also used to uh, <laughs> Go down. All right. Thank you very much. All right. So if we can have our round one contestants come on back up and bring the card with you. We're going to do the uh, audience favorite voting. So the way that this works is we need you to text your favorite. And they're all holding a card here. So text the, uh, the word on their card, or it's also listed above. Uh, to the number double two triple three, so two two three three three. SMS that. If you don't know how to SMS, ask the person next to you. If you don't have a mobile phone, why are you here? But, uh, and now we're gonna roll a segment about our sponsors while you're tech. Well, yeah, while you're voting. Our okay. So our sponsors are Citrix and Foley Hogue. Thank you very much. And now we have the final of your voting. Are you guys still voting? Yes. Okay. We're going to keep it going. 22333 is the phone number to text to. Text just the word. All right. And Booth? We're closed voting. All right. Shayna, congratulations. All right. Guys, please take a seat. We're going to be moving on. Booth, next segment. All right, so next we're going to uh, list off the semi-finalists from mobile. And again, uh, please hold your applause until the very end, until all 10 have been called. And semi-finals, please stand up. So Amit Maimon. Anisha Gulabani, Arvin Chari, Damian Peters, Geraldine Hugh, Jim Shusher, Carrie Leonard, Min Jong, Natalia Sutin, and Vijay Umapathi. Guys, please stand and clap. All right. All right, and we'd also like to thank our gold sponsors. Goodwin Proctor and KPMG. Thank you very much, guys. Let's give them a round of applause. Okay, now we're going to do our whoop, guys. All right, our semi-finalists for the life sciences. Again, please stand when your name is called and hold your applause. So Cliff Wong, Jacob Crothers, James Waring, Jarrett Remsburg, Kanaka Patabiraman. Uh, Mary O'Grady, Noah Wilson-Rich, Peter Trusky, Tyler Spaulding, and Vanita Argawala. Congratulations, guys. All right. And now I believe we have another segment from history. Today I've made a remarkable discovery. When I returned home from my vacation, I'd realized I'd left one of my petri dishes open. Something quite remarkable had happened. It had grown mold. Mold, I tell you. It had replaced the staphylococci and it was growing all over. We need to give this mold to the sick and the wounded to cure everything from infections to gonorrhea 
to pneumonia, perhaps even typhoid or genital herpes. This mold will change the way we think about modern medicine. Now, if only I'd had a well-organized business plan competition and an elevator in which to pitch this 